at the high school here, the sophomore class has 60 more students than the freshman class. So the sophomore class is equal to the freshman class plus 60. The junior class, so the junior class, has 50 fewer students than twice the students in the freshman class. So the junior class um, is equal to twice the freshman class minus 50. The senior class, okay, it's going to mess me up because sophomore and senior, so I'll use R for senior. The senior class is three times as large as the freshman class, 3F. If there are a total of, so sophomores plus freshmen plus juniors plus, what did I miss? Oh, seniors equals 1,424 students. How many students are in the freshman class? So they're just giving us enough information here to solve for the freshman class. So if R equals 3F, I can plug this into this formula. So instead of R, I have 3F. And J is equal to 2F minus 50. So instead of J, I can write 2F minus 50 plus 3F. F, we want to leave it as F. We get one variable. And the sophomore class equals F plus 60. So instead of S, I get F plus 60. And now I'm still adding the sophomore, freshman, junior, and senior classes, but I'm adding them all in terms of the freshman class, which allows me to solve it. Watch how I can solve this now. 3F, 2F, F, and F. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3. It's 7F plus what? Well, 60 minus 50 is 10 equals 14, 24. Subtract 10 from both sides, and 7F equals 14, 14. Um, so 7 goes into 1,400 200 times, and there's 14 left over, so it's 202. F equals 202. I'm going to check that. So we have, close this here, 1,414 divided by 7, we get 202. Answer number 1. All right, let's keep going.